Welcome to Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down the first Elite Four member, Sydney, the Dark Type Master. In today's episode, we are ready to enter the second Elite Four's chamber. So let's make our way inside then and see what's going on. Whoa, this is uh, a little bit creepy. Uh, there's a creepy lady with some mud on her head or grass or I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and challenge her. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I trained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Here we go, Roger versus Phoebe. The second Elite Four member, the Ghost-type Master. We are challenged by Elite Four Phoebe. She looks excited. She looks like she wants to do this. Now, I did take all of your tips into account, so I have set up with Gastru in front. As you guys might remember, we actually learned the move Crunch last time, and it's going to be super effective here, which should make this pretty easy on us. At least, I'm hoping it does. I've also prepared a couple other Pokemon. I didn't realize how fast we were going to, you know, forget moves, run out of PP for moves. So the bonus is that I actually have a lot of uh, Elixirs, Max Elixirs, things like that, that I've been kind of piling up since the beginning of this game. So we should be good to, you know, spam moves as much as possible because I'll be able to use it on our Pokemon. For example, the flamethrower on Elsa, for some reason, ran out really, really quickly. So I've gone ahead and just used, uh, like, an elixir or something like that on it. So then I can just replenish it and we can use it later in battle. So if you're wondering how I got the PP back, that's how I did it. But let's see if we can do something here, all right? This Dusclops is going down quite easily so far and I'm kind of just excited to get it going. I'm, I want to see, you know, what else Phoebe has in store for us. As you can see, the Elite Four gets harder and harder from here. So we're doing our best and we're trying and I think we're actually doing a pretty good job. It's really great actually having you guys to give me tips. It makes it so much easier to just give me a heads up on what's coming up or, you know, what to do. A little bit of strategy here and there. It's really nice. So thank you guys, you know, to every single one of you who does leave a comment who helps me out here and there. You know, I really couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for that. Now, wow, this dude has Ice Beam. Did not expect that. Did not expect him to have Ice Beam. But you know what? We're going to try anyways. We're going to try this. I think a Crunch... I don't know. We'll see. I don't think the Crunch is going to take it down. But it's okay. I've kind of been preparing for this. I kind of expected it to be a tougher battle. As you can see, the Pokemon are finally catching up to us in level. So actually, now that we're knocked out, I do know who I'm going to bring out. And I mentioned Elsa for a reason, and it was because I wanted to heal up her flamethrower because I know it's going to come in handy here because these ghost types have all this ice stuff going on, and it'll just make it easier to take them down this way. I say that, and the real-life Elsa is sitting here looking at me in the face. I'm literally having a staring conscious with her. I'm looking her in the eyes right now, and she's staring into my soul. She's literally looking to my eyes, and she's trying to play with my feet again, and she's doing that. So you know what? I'm going to have a staring contest with her right now to see who the real winner is. Oh, she looked away. Now she's tearing up some of my socks. That's nice. She, she likes doing that from time to time. She likes destroying things. You know, the usual puppy things. They destroy things, and she hoards. I don't know. She grabs my shoes and hides them. I'm always trying to, like, leave the house, like, you know, going somewhere. And I'm like, where are my shoes? I wonder where they went. Elsa hid my shoes. Literally, yesterday, like, I found one of them. And I was looking for my other shoe, and I couldn't find it for the life of me. I was like, where's my other shoe? Where the heck has it gone? I looked everywhere, under the bed, under the couches, lifted everything. I could not freaking find my shoe for the life of me. Then I go and look next to the blinds, you know, where the glass lighting doors are, like long blinds. It was, like, hidden there in, like, the corner. What kind of an evil dog does that, you know? Literally, like, the one place I wouldn't find it, she puts it, like, in the little crack, you know, where I'm not going to find it. That's evil. I think this dog really does work for, you know, some of these teams. Team Magma, Team Aqua, who knows? She's playing some evil games here, you know? She hides my stuff. She rips up my socks. She poops in my office. It's kind of a tough life. I feel like she's trying to make sure I don't defeat the Elite Four and make it the champion and save, you know, Hoenn. Because she's working for the teams, you know? She's probably working for the, the third team. Not Team Magma or Team Aqua, Team Grassland. You know, something like that. Whatever the third one would be. Team Green, whatever the heck it is. I really Team Forest. Is that what it would be? Team Forest? Does that make sense? I have no idea. I just feel like she's working for them. With that, guys, we have took down Burnett. And it looks like Elsa is kicking some serious butt. So Gashru and Elsa kind of putting it on their backs and, uh, you know, doing some great stuff here. We defeated Elite Four Phoebe. 
Oh, darn. I've gone and lost. We got 5,100 for winning. I like your outfit, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I got you. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead. Move on to the next room. All right, guys. So with that, we have defeated the second Elite Four member. It wasn't too bad. Next up, we will be making our way into the third room. As you guys know, I really don't know what's coming up. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. I'm excited to keep it going. You know, give me some tips on the next Elite Four. Who to put up, you know, who to put up front, what moves to use. It's thanks to you guys that I can get this far. And you guys are very, very helpful. All right, guys. So next time, we'll continue from here on. Give me some tips. Two Elite Four members down. Two more to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.